Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, as we gather here together, Father God, I ask that you be in our presence and be in our midst. Father God, I'm asking that you would touch each and every person, Father God, that this prayer comes across, Lord God. Father God, we just want to tell you thank you, Lord God, for blessing us with this brand new day, Father God, a day that we have never seen before, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for the grace and mercy, Father God, that you have given to us, Father, that we never even deserve, God. Oh God, we just want to tell you thank you, Lord, for opening up our eyes, Father God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, God, for keeping us safe from our hurt, harm, and danger, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for protecting us, Father God, from any robbers, any murders, Father God, and even the death angel, Lord. Oh, God, we just want to tell you, thank you, Father God. Lord, I'm asking, Father God, that you will use me today, Father God, that you will speak to me and through me, Lord God. That you would give me what to pray and how to pray, Father God, because you know what your people need, Father God, and you know what is best for us, Lord God. So, Lord, I come to you this afternoon, Lord God. I'm your humble, willing, obedient servant, Father God, for you to speak whatever needs to be spoken today. Oh, God, I just want to tell you thank you, God. We want to tell you thank you, Lord God, for each and everything that you have done for us this week, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for each and every day that you have helped us to get through, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for each and every struggle that you saw help us to see our way through. We thank you, Lord God, for each and every mountain that you help us to climb. Oh God, we just want to tell you thank you for being our provider, for being our protector and being our way maker. Oh God, we just want to tell you thank you, Lord God, because you do so much for us, Lord, and we just want to bless you today, God. Oh God, we just want to glorify you, exalt you, Lord God. You are the King of kings, you are the Lord of lords, and you are the great I am. Oh, the heavenly Father, you are greater, you are worthy to be praised, God, and we just want to bless you today, God. We just want to give you all our gratitude and our appreciation, Lord God. And if it's by chance, Father, that we didn't tell you this morning when we woke up that we love you and we appreciate you. Oh, God, we want to let you know right now that we love you and we appreciate you, Father God, for everything that you are to us and everything that you are for us. Oh, God, we want to tell you thank you for being our shelter, Lord God, when we didn't have a roof over our head. We want to tell you thank you, Lord God, for providing food when we were hungry. We want to tell you thank you, Lord God, when we got in trouble, Father God, you gave us a way of escaping. You are our lawyer, Father God. We want to tell you thank you, Lord God, that you are the judge in the courtroom. Oh, God, we just want to tell you thank you, Lord God, for giving us a way of escape when we found our stuff in a sticky situation. Oh God, we just want to tell you thank you. We thank you, Father God, for going before us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for clearing our pathway, Lord God, because before we go out the door, we don't know what we're going to encounter, but you do. And we thank you, Lord God, that you can see everything, Lord God, that you can see everywhere, Lord God, that you can be in more places than once, and we want to tell you thank you, God. We thank you, Lord God, for keeping our loved ones safe. We thank you, Lord God, for covering our children and protecting them each and every day that they are out of our eyesight, God. Oh Lord, we just want to tell you thank you, Lord God, for bringing our husband and our wives back home safely, Father God. That when they go to work, Father God, and they go out and about in the day, Lord God, they come back home safe and sound. Oh God, I just want to tell you thank you, Lord God, because there's so many times, Father, that our family members leave out the door and we never know if we're going to see them again. But Lord, we want to tell you thank you each and every time that they come back in and they are safe and sound, Father God, and there's not a hair that is harmed on their head. Oh God, I just want to tell you thank you, Father God. Lord, I'm asking that you would touch those families, Father God, whose loved ones walked out the door and they never came back in and they never got a chance to see them, hug them, or tell them I love them or say, I'm sorry. Oh God, I just want to ask you, Father God, to comfort them on today, Lord God, because they have brokenness on the inside. Oh God, I'm asking that you will comfort them on today, Father God, because they never got a chance to say, I love you. Father, I'm asking that you will comfort them on today, Lord God, because they are filled with so much grief, Father God, and sadness and even anger and rage, Lord God, because they don't understand why. But Lord, we know that you know the reason for it all, Father God, and you know the why, know the why. But God, I'm asking that even in the midst of confusion and frustration and anger, Lord, that you would do a special thing within them on today, Father God, that you would give them peace of mind, Father God, that you would uplift the sadness and the heaviness within their heart, Lord God, let them know, Father God, that everything happens for a reason. And if they do not even understand it, Father God, let them know, Father God, that you are the reason for it all, Lord God, and you know the why. So, God, I'm asking that you will be their comfort on today, Father God, that you will be their peace within on today, Father God, that you will wrap your arms around them, Lord God, and that you will cradle them on today, Father God, because they are broken on the inside, and they do not even know where to go and how to even begin to heal. But, Lord, I'm asking that you will be the healer on today, Father God. I'm asking that you will mend their heart on today, Father God, that you will remove those things on the side of the heart that's causing the heaviness on today, Father God. Oh, God, I'm asking that you will move on today, Lord God, because they need you, Lord God. 
Oh, God, I'm asking that you will move on their behalf, Lord God, because they need your comfort today. They need your love, Father God, and they need your spirit to move within their life. So, God, I'm asking that you will do it right now in the name of Jesus because I know that you can, that you will, and you're more than able to do it. Oh, God, I'm asking that you continue to touch the relationships in the family, that you continue, Lord God, to restore their mother and daughter relationship, that you continue, Lord God, to restore their father and son relationship, that you continue, Lord God, continue, Lord God, to restore that sibling relationship, Father God, because you are God-oriented, Lord, and you desire to see families together. So, God, I'm asking that you continue to reconcile some things, that you continue, Lord God, to give them the pureness in their heart that they need, Father God, that you continue, Lord God, to help them to apologize, Father God, and that they may come together, Father God, with a warm embrace, Lord God, and they may love each other, Father God, from a pure place within their heart. Oh God, I'm asking that you will do it, Lord God, because there's no situation that's too big for you, Father God. There's no mountain, Father God, that you can't turn into an anthill. Oh God, I'm asking that you will move on today, Father God, that you continue to restore the love and the laughter in this world on today, Father God. Oh Father, I'm asking that you continue to touch your people on today, Father God. Continue to give them hearts of compassion and empathy on today, Father God. That you continue, Lord God, to help us to be helpless one to another, Father God, because you have created us all to help uplift each other. So Lord, if there's any situation, Father God, that someone is tearing someone down god i'm asking that you will stop that thing father god and turn it around in their hearts that they may begin to love that person oh god i'm asking that you continue lord to help us to make peace with our enemies father god lord you said you would make our enemies our footstool but on today father god we just want to sit at the table with them table with them lord god and ask them to be at peace with us lord god and we ask that you may even bless them on today father god because we don't even know what the situation is but what situation is father god but you do so lord i'm asking that you amend some relationships on today father god because there's some things that need to be mended in this earth on today but it's only you lord god who can do it so we trust you father God to do a thing for us, Lord God, and we stand on your word, Father God. And we just want to tell you, thank you, Lord God, because you are so dependable, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are a man of your word because if you said a thing, that it is so. Oh God, we just want to tell you, thank you today, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for making a way out of no way, Father God. And when it seems impossible, that you made it possible. Oh, Father, I'm asking you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will touch that single mother and that single father. Oh, God, I'm asking that you continue to make provisions for them on today, Father God. That you continue, Lord, to open doors on their behalf, Father God. That you continue, Lord God, to take them to places, Father God, to receive resources, to be able to take care of their family, Lord God. Oh, God, I'm asking that you will do it, Lord God, because I know even in their state of singleness, Father God, that you will make a way for them, Father God. That you continue, Lord God, to provide and protect them, Lord Lord God, that you continue to give them the strength each and every day to get out of bed, Lord God, and take care of their households, Lord God. Oh God, I'm asking that you will let your will be done within their lives on today. The Heavenly Father, I'm asking that you continue to touch the marriages on today, Father God. That you continue, Lord God, to reconcile some things in the marriages. That you continue, Lord God, to touch their husband and their wife, Father God, who doesn't seem like they're going to be able to fix it, Lord God. But Lord, I know that you are a great counselor and you can fix anything, Father God. And nothing's impossible for you to do. So God, I'm asking that you amend that marriage on today, Father God. That you will bring it back Father God, to the very first place where they fell in love, that you will restore that love, Father God, that you will rekindle the flame, Father God, that you continue, Lord God, to let that burning desire and compassion, Father God, overflow right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I'm asking that you remove any outsiders, Father God, that are causing hindrances in the marriage, that you remove those negative people from whispering in the ear of their husband and their wife, Father God, giving them bad advice. Oh God, I'm asking that you remove those seeds that are being planted, Father God, and that you will plant some good seeds, Lord God, that you will place positive people around them, Father God, that will pour into their marriage, Father God, instead of take away. Oh God, I'm asking that you will do a thing on today, Father God. Lord, I'm asking that you will even touch the children so they are are not affected by whatever's going on within that marriage when they see the mother and the father argue or whatever it is going on god i'm asking that you will shield their child and protect them lord god so that they might may not be affected lord god they may not feel any type of way or have any emotional damage oh god i'm asking that you would do a special thing on today father god within their marriage oh lord i'm asking that you would touch those marriages to come touch those father god who are prepared to preparing to come to the altar lord god who are preparing to get married oh god i'm asking that you continue to touch them as individuals lord god so that they may build that one-on-one -on -one relationship with you father god so they are strengthened as they come together. Continue, Lord God, to build that character inside them, Father God. So as they come together as one, they build a strong union. Lord, I'm asking that you will let that marriage, Father God, be a reflection of you, Father God. It may be centered around you, Lord. So that marriage, Father God, be able to be prosperous. Oh God, I'm asking that you would touch those, Father God, who are dating, those who are in a state of singleness. Oh God, I'm asking that you continue to minister to them, Lord God, as you prepare them to receive their spouse. Oh God, I'm asking that you will 
begin to bring up kingdom relationships and kingdom marriages father god because there's much work to be done so lord i'm asking that you will order our footsteps and direct our paths today father god lead us and guide us through this day father god you know what needs to be done lord god so i'm asking that you will help us lord god to get in position and get ready oh god i just want to tell you thank you lord god for the miracle signs and wonders that you're about to perform oh god i'm asking that you continue to prepare us lord god to receive the blessings that you have in store for us we thank you lord god for pouring out the heavens the blessings that we don't have room to receive we thank you, Lord God, for doing those things that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Oh, God, I'm asking that you continue to prepare your people, Lord God, because they got to get ready. Because you're about to do a thing in the earth. You're about to move mountains, Lord God. You're about to shake some things up. And we just want to tell you thank you in advance, God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Father God, because it's only because of you that we're about to see these things happen in this earthly life. And we just want to tell you thank you for it, God, because we know it's only because of you that we'll be able to receive these blessings, Lord God. We thank you for those things that you do for us, Lord God, spiritually as well naturally we thank you we thank you we thank you the heavenly father oh god you are so good to us lord god and we just want to tell you we appreciate you god for every little thing that you do for us lord god we thank you lord god that our arms and legs function father god we thank you lord god that we have ears to hear we thank you lord god that we have eyes to see father we thank you we thank you we thank you lord god because there is someone father god who does not have function of their limbs we thank you father god because there's someone who cannot see we thank you father god there's some because there's someone who cannot hear and you have given us all these things that we just want to tell you thank you father god Oh, God, I'm asking that you would touch those, Father God, who are paralyzed, that you continue to restore their bodies, Lord God, that you continue to restore the function in their limbs on today, Father God, for seeing your will. I'm asking that you would touch those, Father God, who are lying in their sick bed on today, Father God. I'm asking that you would touch those, Lord God, who are have been given a death sentence on today, Father God. Lord, if it's not in your will for them not to live, for them to live, Father God, I'm asking that you would wake them up. But God, if it's in your will, Lord God, it's the time for them to tra take transition, Lord, I'm asking that you would give them and their family a heart of acceptance. Oh, God, I'm asking that you would prepare your people, Father God, and let your will be done within our lives. Oh, God, we just want to tell you thank you today, Father God, for everything that you have done for us, for everything that you are doing now and everything that you're about to do. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord God. Oh, Heavenly Father, I'm asking that you would touch your people as they go about their day, that you would protect us, Father God, from our hurt, harm, and danger, things seen and unseen, known and unknown. Cover the cars, Father God. Cover the tires, Lord God, and protect them from accidents and incidents, any tire blowouts, Lord God. I'm asking that you would protect those, Father God, who are walking in on the street, Lord God, that you would keep them from being an innocent bystander, being struck by a vehicle, Lord God, or anything, Father God, that may harm them, Lord. Oh God, we just want to tell you thank you for your protection that you wrap around us each and every day. We thank you, Lord God, for dispatching that guarding angel on our behalf lord god that keeps us safe each and every time that we leave out our door oh god we just want to tell you thank you father god lord continue to saturate our atmosphere father god and go with us wherever that we go today lord god because we need you lord god in more ways than one and we know lord god that whatever is coming up against us, Lord God. As long as we have you, we can get through it. And we just want to tell you thank you, Lord God, for always holding our hand and never letting go. Oh God, I just want to tell you thank you, Father God. The Heavenly Father, I ask that you will continue to hear the prayers that are being prayed. That you continue, Lord God, to hear the hearts cry of your people, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for answering all the prayers that you have answered. We thank you, Lord God, for beginning to answer the prayers that we have been sending up each and every day this week, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, the Heavenly Father. Lord, I ask that you will hear this prayer and that you will consider it father god in your son jesus name we pray amen